The last couple of years during the whole COVID pandemic, my writing was just confusing me and frustrating me. And I just was feeling so depressed, I didn't know what to write about. Then I thought, God, Laura, you know, you can still sing. And I reached out to like my favorite piano player ever, who, who I'd never met. Oh, you! Who are you talking about? Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Him. I just came in for coffee. I don't know what's happening. With... I have no idea what's even Matt going Rawlings. On. It has just turned into a dream project, just oh. absolutely beyond. Every time I listen to the tracks we've done, I like that. I, I know you don't need me to tell you, but I just can't believe no, I that need you. you. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't get over your artistry. I just can't get over it. Thank you. You know, it's unbelievable. So anyway, that's like well, I gotta a, say. A, a team effort for sure. Pennies in a stream. This is pretty much a live uh, performance that's being recorded in a recording studio. She wanted to put a nice band together and do some covers and some of her songs, but in this intimate setting with just a group of very specialized musicians. This has a feel to it that's just about all the musicians playing together and communicating in the studio, you know. Uh, and to me that always seems to work better and it just feels better. All these guys are just, they're just incredible musicians. She just got the right combination of talent here together for this album, I think. And Lori's fantastic that way too. She has her own set ideas about what she wants, but she's always completely open to the musicians. She wants them to be creative, which is great, you know, because then that adds that extra little touch that takes it to like the next level. It is somewhat analogous to Bruce Springsteen, I think because she's a writer and Bruce is a writer and they know what they're doing and they know what their music needs, instrument-wise, feel-wise, mix-wise even. When you're approaching such beautiful material and something that's been in your world for such a long time, my first thought is like, well, I don't want to mess this up because it's a special song. You want to give it something new, but you want to also preserve what's so great about the original. I think it's really important for me to, to really make sure that Lori is heard. You know, and it's an iconic song, so I, I mean, she wanted to sort of go back to the experience of writing the song, like what the feeling, what the emotion, what the impetus for writing the song is. I heard he sang a good song I heard he had a style and so I came to see him To listen for a while And there he was, this young boy A stranger to my eyes Strumming my pain with his fingers Singing my life with his words Killing me softly with his song Killing me softly with his song Telling my whole life with his words Killing me softly with his song Beautiful. Wow. It gave me chills. Yeah. Wow, so beautiful. <laughs> Just gorgeous, man. Like the, like the hair is still, yeah. still <laughs> really? Especially the opening, the way you see the opening. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. That's oh, just, yeah. Really? Spectacular. And you finally oh, get the real story, oh, man, you know, from the girl that, you really that experienced it. <laughs> I know. Oh. You really get it. Wow. Oh.